It's time for ministry. Why? Because God is pouring out his spirit on all flesh. And it's time for us, amen, to come into the ministry that God has called us to. And I don't care what your career is, it needs to be ministry. I don't care where your socioeconomic status, ministry. Men, ministry. Women, ministry. Why? Because this man who is a sinner, he does not look at any religious material. He does not look at any religion. He does not read the Bible. But God said it just like he said in Romans 1. He said, you will be without excuse because even my invisible qualities you see with your own eyes. Are y'all hearing me today? What time is it? Say it's time for ministry. It's time for ministry. It's time for your mess. No excuses. Your mess is now message. Say no excuse. No excuse. Amen. Your test is now your testimony. Say no excuse. And your mistakes are now your ministry. Say no excuse. Say it's time for ministry. Come on, thank the Lord. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's, time. it's, it's no time. Amen, to go into survival mode. That's not what God called the church for in the last day. That's not what this is. That's not what time this is. I said to you last week, I said to us, folks, there ain't no need just run around like you scared of COVID. You, you done done everything. You done been to vacations. You done been, you been everywhere. You do everything, but scared to come to church. Ain't that something? <laughs> the devil's like, got him, yep. <laughs> I mean, for pastors and praying for, I mean, they just don't, don't think it's just the members. It's the pastors too. God knows church is not, but what is God doing? God has said, uh-uh, I'm going to shake everything. And everybody, because when I judge, oh, my judgment is going to be short. See, see, see. So I, come on, thank the Lord. Well, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. See, because now you're just in the time of sorrow. You ain't got to tribulation yet. And I know folks say, God going to take us out of tribulation. Look, you, well, he might, but if he don't, you better be ready. Amen. Praise the Lord. Because according to some folks, we, we, we the church ain't supposed to be going through this. You in it. <laughs> you understand? Praise the Lord. Glory to God. And, and so, so it's important that you know what I'm teaching you. Amen. Uh, we are not a church. Uh, that's in denial. We're not a church that's delusional. I said this to you, amen, that you don't, uh, doing nothing about COVID is not the answer. Amen. That's not the answer. What you doing? Nothing. I just hope God, I just go, okay, all right, go if you want to. <laughs> no, this is something you do something about. Amen. It's a living creature, organism, organism. Amen. Now we know the spirits behind it, which is spirit of fear. Praise the Lord, but but he real, amen, and you need to do something about that, praise the Lord, uh, to where you are confident because God says when we see all these things, see to it that you are not afraid. See to it that you are not terrified. He says because these are signs, the end is not yet. So we have, these are signs, and these signs should be telling us get ready, and not only get ready, but help other folk get ready, amen, because what's coming next? Tribulation. And after tribulation, the wrath of God. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? See, the Antichrist, and I, I don't want to get too deep today, but you see, the Antichrist still got to come forth physically and be in authority and in power. Are y'all understand? Amen. In other words, he's not just a spirit. His spirit is in operation, and that's what's bringing all these things together. Amen. Bringing the platforms together for him to operate. Amen. To have total control. Amen. Over whatever device you have, whatever, everything else, your own house. You know everything's online, right? The internet, everything. Okay, Murray, don't go too far today. That'll be another message. Amen. Praise the Lord. But those things are being put in place. Even the mindsets are being put into place, amen. And then the trouble that brings him, what allows him to come to, into play is because it's so much trouble and he brings peace. But the Bible says when they say, peace, peace, sudden destruction is coming. Are y'all hearing me? 
<laughs> that so and so gonna kill up folks. God knows, like you never imagined in your life. Amen. Of course, of course, folks, uh, folks ahead of them have done the same. Amen. Stalin killed up all the Russians, and I mean, you got you, you know, uh, folks in Asia. Amen. Just kill up folks. I mean, like you know, we just haven't seen it in our era. They've done it before, and that's the thing about prophecy. Amen. What has happened before comes right back again. Y'all see that? Ooh, y'all can see I'm working on something, don't you? I'm working on something. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. I used to think prophecy, something just happened that one time. Uh-uh, read that word. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. Nothing new on the sun. Amen. What was before is coming again. Glory to God. Y'all see that? Amen. Praise the Lord. So, so amen. Uh, so, for us, we should be doing what we, what we should do. Amen. We should be having faith. Amen. But faith ain't going to work if you don't do faith works. Amen, because what's in you is going to come out of you. And if you don't put faith in you, it can't come out of you. Are y'all hearing me, saints? Amen. So it's, so it's important, amen, for us, amen, to put faith works together. We should be doing those things physically in Jesus' name. Not merely to survive COVID, but to fulfill our purpose and call because it's time for ministry. Say it's time. It's time for ministry. It's time for ministry. We should be doing those things physically, financially. We should be doing those things with our health because this is not a time of survival. Amen. This is a time of faith. This is a time of hope. This is a time to see God do exceeding abundantly above all you can ask or think. Have I got one witness in this house today? In the name of Jesus. Woo, Lord. I got a little, boy, I'm about ready to jump and run already. Praise his name. All right. So what should have happened to you? Amen. Uh, during this pandemic, amen, there should have been a transformation in your life. Glory to God. Amen. COVID didn't kill you. COVID didn't take you out. Then you ought to be better in every area of your life. Come on. Thank the Lord. You ought to be better in your family, better in your relationship with God, better in your relationship with your spouse. Better in finances. You ought to be better. Your health ought to be better. Somebody thank the Lord here in Jesus' name. Glory to God. You ought to be better. Somebody shout transformation. A transformation should have happened in your life. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. With all of that time that you had, amen, a transformation. You should have taken some of that time and spent with the Lord. I guarantee you that if you spent time with the Lord, you are no longer the same. Your neighbors are saying something, ain't, something different about you. On your job, they tell uh, you ain't the same. So Why? Because you've been with the Lord. Come on, thank God today. Have I got a witness in here? Praise the Lord that you didn't just spend time, amen, watching movies, amen, and eating snacks. But, amen, when God is moving, amen, you got to move with God. Praise the Lord. You got to move into his presence, amen, to get his plan. Come on, thank the Lord with me today. Like Moses, in the presence of God, he was transformed. When he came down out of the mount, his face shined, and he didn't even know it. Like Jesus in the wilderness, amen, after Jesus went into the wilderness, he came out with power. And his, and his own folks say, ain't that Joseph's boy right there? Yeah, it is. Amen. What happened? A transformation had taken place in his life. In prayer, Jesus was transformed on the Mount of Transfiguration. How? Through prayer. He was transformed through prayer prayer. Amen. The Bible says that as he was praying, his face began to shine. His clothes even shine. How? Through prayer. And the father acknowledged this is my beloved son. Hear ye him. Y'all hear what happened? When that transformation come on your life, people never listened to you before, but now they want to hear what you got to say. Come on, thank the Lord. They invite you to stuff. Come over here. Come do this. Come do that. Amen. Praise the Lord. I got folks calling on me now. I don't even know who they are. I'm like, who this? I don't know. Amen. Why? Because I have been transformed. Amen. And like Peter, you hear us, you hear us make this call every week. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. Like Peter, who was running scared, who was lying. I don't know who Jesus is. Yeah, you do. Now he cussing. I said, D -d 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 -d. I don't know who Jesus is. Amen. 
But Jesus know there was a prophetic word spoken over his life. Amen. <laughs> and, and, and because of that prophetic word, Jesus said, go get the disciples and Peter. Amen. And when the Holy Ghost came on Peter, now Peter, amen, is no longer that scared Peter, but now he's Peter full of the Holy Ghost and fire and said, this is not, amen, these folks are not drunk as ye suppose. This is but the third hour. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? Praise the Lord. The Bible says when they saw him, they said, now these are ignorant men. They, they, these men, he said, but they took note that they've been with the Lord. Come on, thank God. Amen. Say a transformation. Amen. You should not be the same. God, I don't care what COVID does. You ain't got no business being the same. You ain't got no business in approaching it for the same. We didn't have knowledge at one time. You got knowledge now. Amen. Don't sit around and act like you ain't got nothing to do. You should be transformed. Look what happened to me. COVID attacked me. I'm better in Jesus' name. Come on, do y'all see this? Glory, to diabetes came against me. I'm stronger. Come on, y'all hear me? Amen. Well, folk losing their job and lacking, not me. I'm going higher. Come on, thank the Lord in here in Jesus' name. Shout transformation. A transformation, saints of God. A transformation. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. More knowledge, more understanding. A transformation. Praise the Lord. Not time to be afraid. Amen. It's time to be transformed into who God called you from the very beginning.